Hi guys, Thomas here and welcome to the Techno Galaxy. Today I will be doing a Bluehost review in this video. So Bluehost is known for being one of the most popular web hosting companies because of its affordability, excellent value, great performance, and being really newbie friendly. It's also officially recommended by WordPress. After using Bluehost myself for over 10 years now, I've learned what it's best at, as well as the things it's not so great for. So today I'll explain the different features of Bluehost and how will they perform in the real world and ultimately help you to decide whether Bluehost would be the best hosting company for you or not. And as always, I'll include any links in the description to the best deals or promotional discounts on Bluehost that I can get for you guys. So regarding user friendliness, this is one of the features that sets Bluehost apart as they make it really easy for anyone to manage a website, even if this is the first time you've ever had a website. Now Bluehost uses cPanel, which is a web hosting control panel that offers a ton of options for integrations. For example, you can add email autoresponders, various apps to track marketing metrics, such as the number of clicks on your website and apps for automatic billing. You can also install content management systems other than WordPress, such as Joomla and Drupal. Basically, Bluehost makes it simple and easy to add any additional apps and plugins, which gives your site more features and can help to improve the experience of visitors to your website. In the performance page, you can change the cache settings, which basically allows you to delete the data stored on your website so that it loads faster. And then the settings page gives you an overview of any updates that have happened or are yet to happen. You can also manage content such as your blogs. For example, you can moderate comments you've received on your blog pages rather than having to log into each of your sites individually. And then regarding performance, this is an extremely important and for some, the most important feature of a good web hosting company. Performance is basically measured on two metrics. First one is the loading time of your website and the uptime. So the loading time is how fast your website loads when a user opens it. A fast page loading time is ideally one that is less than three seconds. This ultimately means a better user experience, which means Google will do you more favor in the search results, and as a result, your website will get more visitors. So Bluehost has one of the fastest loading times compared to other hosted companies, which is 2.89 seconds on average. Then the second factor is uptime. This measures the amount of time for which your website is up and running and is generally shown as a percentage. Here again, Bluehost is one of the best as well with an uptime of 99.98% over the course of a year. And although each hosting company experiences some downtime, Bluehost is one of the best in this regard. But in addition to performance, there are several other things Bluehost does which makes it a great value. For example, all higher plans will include at least one free domain name for the first year, a free SSL certificate, and free email accounts. Bluehost also has a one-click WordPress installation option, which is simple and easy to use. And another thing that makes Bluehost great for beginners is that it gives you a checklist of all the things that you may need to complete, like organize your site's navigation or customize your design. One of my favorite things about Bluehost is their customer support. Out of all the hosting companies I've been with, Bluehost has impressed me the most so far with how great their support is. It's particularly unique these days to find a company that not only hires knowledgeable people who genuinely care about helping you, but then that company also empowers those people to do everything they can do to take care of you. And if you've ever been in a situation where you're stuck trying to figure out what's wrong with your website, then you already know how valuable that type of support can be. So their customer support team is available 24 seven by phone, or you can email or chat with them if you prefer. And then pricing is another area where Bluehost demonstrates its value as a hosting company. I'll highlight some of the key and most important points here in this review, but please note that Bluehost can change their plan names and prices time to time, so please check the discount link I have left in the video description down below, which will take you to their current plans and their features. Like you can see as of today, they currently have four plans here. If you are just starting out and you need only one website, then you can go with a basic plan, but if you mean to host multiple websites, then you can compare the features of the plans here and choose the plan according to your needs. When it comes to choosing the right plan, it's important to understand that your pricing plan will be greatly affected by whether it's a shared hosting plan or a dedicated hosting plan. Shared hosting basically means that you share your hosting space with other websites, whereas dedicated hosting means that you get to have your own hosting space. The benefit of shared hosting is that it's cheaper than dedicated hosting. The downside is that it doesn't have as much speed, security, or performance. But please keep in mind, these shared hosting plans are what 95% of people use with Bluehost. And these are the plans I've continued to use for the past 10 years for dozens and dozens of my own sites, as they still perform really well, especially for how little they cost. Now the cheapest shared hosting plan that Bluehost offers starts at $2.95 per month, which supports one website. 
So like I previously said, you can go with this plan if you want to host only one website, and then later you can also upgrade to any of these higher plans like the Choice Plus plan, which costs $5.45 per month if you plan to expand or want to have multiple websites in future. Now Bluehost also has their VPS or virtual private server plans or their dedicated hosting plans, but I don't recommend these plans for people especially who are just starting out, as you'll be responsible for managing everything yourself and you want a blue host to help you with any issues that might come up along the way. They certainly have their purpose though, but they will not be suitable if you are a complete beginner. So ultimately, the plan I recommend most people start with is either the basic or choice plus plan. Even though the blue host plans might seem a bit on the higher side, being with them for so many years, I would say the pricing is justified as when it comes to your own website and you are really serious about it, then you should not go with the cheapest possible option because the reliability and the customer support of those will be a big question mark. And of course, whatever Bluehost plan you start with, you can very easily upgrade or downgrade whenever it might make sense for you to do so. So if you are a more advanced user, then you may find the phone support of Bluehost at times may not be as knowledgeable as you may like. So if you're the type of person who knows more than most when it comes to web hosting, then you may want to go with a different option in future and you can easily migrate your site to another hosting provider, like DreamHost, for example. The reason I've continued to use Bluehost myself for so many years is because of the incredible value and exceptional support they offer. Not only because of how cost-effective they are, but at the end of the day, I know that if I ever have problems or if I get stuck not knowing what to do, then there would be someone friendly and helpful I can talk to, who can patiently walk me step-by-step step through getting my sites working properly again. And that's why I like recommending Bluehost. It's especially very good for beginners. It has an extremely user-friendly interface, which makes it easy to manage your website. You will have outstanding customer support. That's truly the best I've experienced in this industry so far. And the performance you get for even their most basic plans is truly a great value, which is ultimately the reason I continue to use and recommend them to this day. If after watching this video, you decided to give Bluehost a try, then I provided a Bluehost discount link in the video description down below, which you can check for the current best deals or promotional offers, which can get you some nice discounts on the Bluehost plans. So hopefully you found this Bluehost review helpful and informative. Please leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed watching it, and please subscribe to our channel, as I always appreciate that. I will see you guys in our next video. Please take care and stay blessed, everyone.